Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumin Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today, I want to talk to you about healing the psyche, mind, and body. And the reason is, as we head right into this solstice in December, it's time. It's the time where many of you, many of you who are first waivers, first and first, second, and actually the third waves, this, these first batches of people, because it is going in batches. It's not a mass ascension. The ascension part has already happened. Now you're at a level where the subtle bodies are clearing and reconnecting. So this is the subtle body of the psyche, the mental, emotional, the ego mind, and where it's been connected to your body. And a lot of you are feeling this already, or you're feeling the beginnings of where are you clearing, and it's coming up in alarming ways, ways that sometimes defy earthly explanation. And you may recall many, many, many times in my videos, I will say to you, you're not crazy. And why would I say this? The reason I say it is because I know that what you're experiencing is actually very real. It doesn't matter if people say, oh, it's, you know, pain, you know, that's not a real thing. It's very real. And you've experienced those pains in other lives. However, you are getting rid of this pain. You are, you've been dismantling it. You've been clearing it. You've been purging it. And it is coming out. I'll never forget, I was at the park one day, this was about a year ago, and there was a young father there with his little girl. And I applaud him for bringing his little girl to the park to play. But she came down the slide and she kind of stumbled and she fell, or fell and she said, oh, daddy, I'm hurt. And she went like this and she was asking for him to pick her up. And he actually said to her, fear is just pain leaving the body or pain is just fear leaving the body, rather, instead of just picking her up. And to me, that is very indicative of how some of this is becoming, where, you know, we can give you reasons, but where are the tools for helping you not only reconnect, but resurrect the parts of yourself and bring them to life again? Meeting each other activated you. Finding each other re-encountering each other. But this is not you being two ships passing in the night. Each and every time there is an instance of seeing what is it that you need. And for many people, the attachments of the mind and the ego will keep them in the same space for a long time. The psyche is actually a lot bigger than you may think it is. And it has been affected throughout history. So what you're also seeing is history resolving itself. We're at a point where history can resolve itself and not repeat itself. Most importantly, you're at a point where you don't have to repeat history. You shouldn't really care what everyone else is doing. If you're done with ancient history, be done with it. Find out how. So it's the time of, as many of you are now at this point, also, the transformation is possible with only one of you doing the work, but for both of you. And I explained that in my webinar. So this is to talk about my next webinar, which is to deal with the psyche. I'm having it in two segments, the weekend of December 9th and 10th, and part two will be on December 17th and 18th. So. If I were to ask you some questions, who is it your heart is telling you to be with? And this may be a recent discovery or awakening for you, or you may have been on this path for a while. Many of you know the truth. You know the truth that you were shown and you know what you felt. But it's, it's the head and it's the ego that will give in or influence you in certain ways because that's been what the collective has done to each other. And this gets very subtle and it gets very twisty and tangly. 
we've gradually, which is part of the task of the Blu-rays, been disentangling it, reworking it, concluding ancient history. Do you know how to rid yourself of psyche, trauma, and damage? Do you know? Do you know that as a twin flame, you have power of your love that goes beyond this realm? And some people may or may not be talking to healers who understand that there's another person on this planet who affects you. It's that simple. There is another person and the effects will be even greater because you're not being allowed to send it into the fifth dimension or put it back into the collective. You've got to get rid of it. So it'll ping pong back and forth between you two until it's properly gotten rid of. Until you or you help your twin put everything in its appropriate place to your union. So this will be things like your lineage damage, illnesses, psyche damage when it starts to get to the physical level along with light body damage is the primary cause for many uh, leading cancers. Cancers that the medical community may or may not know that this is actually soul damage. And it comes out. It's a hard spot where somehow the light has left and you need to get the light back in there. What exactly is the psyche? I talk about that in here. Why can't your twin get it even if you've directly confronted them? And this is very risky business, ladies and gentlemen. Confronting your twin engages the ego mind. There's a better, highly effective way to do certain things. Now, I am always one who encourages people to be with their twin. Why? Because when you're together, your vibration is heightened. You're at a much higher vibration no matter what anyone says. Now, this also means that any of the mind, mental, emotional things that need to get released can also be amplified. If there's anger simmering beneath, they'll be amplified. If there's core issues that haven't been addressed, and some of those can be addictions, addictive behavior, a desire to escape, avoid. And people will sometimes say, hey, my twin keeps retreating anyway. And then they will take a retreat themselves. But guess what? You're married to each other. How do you solve this problem? We married you off to each other again. That's why you were reintroduced. But you actually wished for this, wanted it. What you didn't wish for was all of the work that's involved with doing some of this. But I'm here to tell you it's going to be easier than you may think it is, and it's going to take a lot less time than you might think. Because you're able to quantum jump it. You're able, you're not in that linear time anymore where things could take five years, 10 years, 30 years. So if you were to um, understand that some of these things are becoming very noticeable out there in the collective, aspects of ownership and possession, aspects of, and I mean feeling like you own your twin or you possess them because that's how that person is operated in the world. And they've done it lifetime after lifetime. They're carrying that ancient Mars energy. That's what's happening right now. That ancient invasive Mars energy that has originated in Lyra, Orion, and gone through a series of systems till the buck stops here. Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, you're now at this point. So, if you have someone who, for example, they've been seeing a lot of things on television and in the films because those venues will expose certain things. I remember when I was a kid, um, there was a television network here in the United States 
who would do these uh, movies called the after school movies where they would expose things like Billy's dad is a drinker and what does he do or little Johnny has a bedwetting problem but his mother is a major witch who abuses him and publicly humiliates him okay so sometimes we've seen the ways in which the psyche and the emotional body have become wounded but what about the cosmic galactic level what about your interdimensional levels now if you're a blu-ray you know that you have the Phoenix energy in you you will rise from the ashes again and again but you're also the dragon in the Phoenix and tempering some of this and getting it back to the level where it needs to be so that you can go back home and be home within each other has taken a little bit of time here longer than a lot of us would like so I came across this article and this has been something of interest to medical science um, certain communities and certain schools of thought have tried to find out why here's an article and this is actually a very common term taken from this film called gaslight where people have said ooh she gaslighted me or he gaslighted me and I'm gonna tell you you're not crazy but what that means is when love turns to fear and people have said to themselves was I crazy did I imagine that did I make my abuser then abuse me and it gets all twisty and this is where the mind will tangle up and you'll go you can't tune in your station anymore you cannot get the clarity you need you aren't getting clear of what's attached to you so that you can focus and be in love again and when I say be in love I mean be deep inside each other full intimacy body intimacy the love making that actually makes the third energy not just simply 3d sex you're not limited to 3d sex you're expanding back out again if you confronted your twin more than likely your ego started to crack off big time and you both felt it and it felt like you were rocking the foundation and rocking someone's world and what happens when someone ridicules you puts you down publicly humiliates you talks bad about you what if that person is your other half psyche damage okay so this is some heavy-duty stuff ladies and gentlemen people will say oh it's not for the faint-hearted and this has been a crossroads for people where they say do I continue with this because I deserve better why are you able to now say you deserve better why it's because you've gotten healthier this is exactly what this means you've transformed yourself but you didn't do it by yourself you did it with love but the transformation is possible with one of you now for both of you and both of you will benefit so I'm going to go on that you love this person who is your twin flame you know the truth of your heart what you don't really know is what do you do and if someone is giving you permission and saying you know gosh you know you deserve better why wouldn't your own other half be the best you can possibly get we're not talking about bad behavior someone being you know a naughty person some even someone who is physically harming themselves now I'm going to quantify this by saying if you are in a dangerous position where someone is physically violent yes you honor yourself and you have to stay in a place of safety but what is safety safety should be on your on really on your own somewhere where you feel safe it could be an apartment it could be with family it can be a temporary situation where it may not be as directly living with that person and nobody likes being confronted 
as a twin, you're going to know things. That doesn't mean that your twin wants you to stick their nose in it. You may know it. And furthermore, if you do nothing, you'll be feeling it. So why not do something? Okay, so um, let's say, for example, we have this couple, okay? And this couple here, she's a little bit older than him, and they've met. And when he saw her, he says, oh, she's here. She really is here. It's her. That's what his heart said. His head said, do I know her? I feel like I've seen her before. He's seen her in about a million lifetimes. And she says, I'm not sure I know this, but I feel like I know him. He's so familiar. He feels like home to me. He really feels like home, but oh my goodness, he'll reject me. I, I, I have a few gray hairs, and he just wouldn't understand. And Plus, I've been married before, and I'm, I'm not exactly... Well, he can have his pick of people. And... He's so young and strong. What if he, what if he has a bad temper? And, and I just don't know. Every man I've ever been with has wind up being violent with me and, and everything. And he's standing here saying, why won't you see me? Why won't you let me in? Why won't you let me? Energetically, she's sending him a message that she expects abuse. Okay. Her heart, however, immediately recognizes him and loves him. So what do you do with a person who not only expects abuse, abuse, but their energy has actually invited it? Does he confront her and say, hey, get over it, deal with it? He actually tries to do some of the things that are in my webinars. And you can have another couple here. Soon as I saw her, I knew. I just knew she was the one. But she's so, so, so flirty. I, I, I just don't know how I'm going to take this. It's like she's sending a signal out to everyone and inviting them. I, I, I don't get it. It gets me all uptight. And, oh, I just like, ugh. Uh, I, I love her, though. I, I'm struggling with this. And her, she saw him and she said, there you are. You are the king and the god of my existence. Finally, you're here. I've been meeting so many people, and they were never the one. And then some of them think they owned me, and I had to put them in their place. Do you think you own me? Oh, I mean, I'm from another country, and I'm well-to-do, and you're from a very small island. I, I'm not sure you're going to like my kind of man. I mean, what if I, what if I bring you home and you're not comfortable? And, you know, and everyone, even my cousins, they'll start hitting on you and everything. I just wish you'd whisk me away from here. Take me in your arms and tell me you love me and everything will be okay. And then go their separate ways with their emotional and mental turmoil. He's absolutely tormented. So he decides to go get his drink on. He decides that maybe he's imagining it and that he's crazy. And he decides that he's going to, and she's over here and she starts to feel all dizzy because guess what? She's feeling him drinking. And these two are at an impasse. And you can even have dynamics with gay and lesbian couples and transgender that have a lot to do with the energies of the electric and the magnetic and the masculine and the feminine because everyone is balancing this on the inside. It's when you balance it that you feel the calm and you actually feel your union. Then you're balanced. You've successfully balanced. But what if you still are having some struggles? Oh, I just knew that you were going to love me, and I felt you. I could feel you coming a block away. When you walked in the room, you had a glow around you. I saw you, 
And I just thought you were the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I just sometimes, I don't know, I wind up dominating every single relationship that I have. Why do you have to be so weak? I, I, I just don't get it. You just think I'm expressing too much feminine, but I have everything in me. You just really won't even give me a chance. Why can I give you a chance when it's apparent that I've got to take charge of every single situation? If I don't control it, Everything's going to fall apart, and I just can't take that. I grew up in a family where if nobody took charge, everything would fall apart. I, oh, God, oh, Jesus, you're so angry, I can feel you, and now you're making me afraid of you. See, there you go. Now you're going to just run away, and, and you didn't even give me a chance. You didn't even, I, I don't know. I am not running from you. You are pushing me. You're pushing, I can feel the walls going up in you. See, now you're getting shrill. Now, this is the stuff I can't stand. You're going to be crying in a minute, and I just, oh, oh. Why doesn't he just take me in his arms and tell me that he loves me? Because they are still getting rid of the psyche damage, family patterns, relationship patterns, dynamics that, you are not taking with you. So some of the things that I'm going to talk about in here is what is the root of these fears and why would people confuse fear with love? Because this does happen. I love but. We want to take all the buts out of this. We want to get you to a level, and this is what I teach, to open the channel so that you can easily release and purge out this stuff allow the solutions to come from your union allow your abundant flow for your union allow everyone else and everything else to fall away from you and why the biggest reason ever to make love you're here to make love you're not here to be an enabler you're not here to be someone's mommy, someone's daddy, someone's babysitter. You're not here to be someone's punching bag or doormat or anything like this. You're here to be lovers again. You're not just here to be the love and exemplify it. You're here to be lovers, which actually vibes it out. There's a glow around you. There is a magnetism to you. And some of you have noticed this. And some of you have noticed that you're sucking everything into your wake. You're getting people that look alike. You're getting the lookalikes. I'll say that. You're getting the people that just, you know, absolutely are the right people. And hopefully I am one of those right people that is here to help you. Because that is what I teach. I teach you about your light body so that you can continue to merge, come into oneness, and go home. And be at home with each other. Now this is challenging for a lot of people because there are extenuating circumstances. There's family, there's children. Not everyone is perfectly in a spot where they're single and they've given away their china and they've given them this away and that way. Because even some people who have done that, they've been waiting. They've been waiting. If you're a Blu-ray, you know that this is your time. However, you may have some of this heavy-duty stuff that you've been getting rid of. And you're refining it now. So since October, it's been time for refinement. For really knowing and feeling. If you have taken a retreat into the old and you know who you are, okay? You know this because maybe you didn't know what to do. Check it out. Check it out. And the links are going to be below. There's, It's very comprehensive, and yet it is intended through a guided meditation, several guided meditations that I do to elevate you and make this easier because when you rise up, 
things very naturally fall out. If you go swimming or deep sea diving, some some people have been like, ooh, I'm a deep sea diver. I'm going to go right back into that dirty pool and I'm going to swim around and swim around and swim around. And your twin is standing there going, what? What? Just when I was getting ready, just when I was feeling I should get a divorce, just when this, just when that, just when, you know, I was just starting to be concerned about my kids and what would I do if I left and asked for the divorce? They need you. At the very least, hold steady for your twin. You may or may not be able to get this, but let me tell you, it will be worth it to you. So the format of it is going to be a group setting over the, it's an online event. So you can, you can call in, you can listen, or I elevate you so that you can participate. We have a live question and answer. I feel that the last two I did went very well and that people found it enjoyable and helpful. And it's been helpful to hear people in a safe context in a safe environment and with a certain synergistic effect of seeking the same thing which is to be in love again that's it be in love because you know what you already are in love you just need to have it all again so thanks so much for watching check out the links below it's also on my website at www.twinflamesmerge.com I am available for private one-on-one -on -one sessions, and I have my other webinars there. Thank you so much. Have a good week. Bye.